everyone, Ducks here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to build an MCP server for free. For you. So, first, I will provide you three links here. So, you need to download this Pocket Mine from here, and then go to Windows and download. So, yeah. And I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. Now we have to go to the pocket mine mine docs where you get gonna get stable version but so yeah you will find a stable version here and download it also so I got my download already I have already downloaded it so I don't need to download it and this is just a plugin I will show you the plugins later all right so now let's head to the installation tutorial then go to download Install it. So yeah, put it. I put it to your desktop. Okay, next install. Then it's gonna install C plus plus. So yeah, till then you have to find pocket mine dash mp dot phar. So what you have to do is rename it, copy that name, and delete this file. All right. So the one we downloaded that file. Oh. Uh, when we downloaded the file from here, we have to move it here and now rename and paste the name which we copied already so oh right so now what you have to do is start cmd let me close all stuff all right now it will tell you which language you want to install so go for e and for english license agreement yes do you want to skip the setup? Is it no? Give your name of Minecraft PE server, so I'm gonna name it for the parent. And then server pool, which you should take it as a default one one nine one three two. All right. Then a okay, game mode. We're gonna choose survival, so zero. Max number play player allowed twenty. Spawn protection, yes. White layer. Oh, player. I'm gonna open myself. Right now, enable white list. No. Disable query. No. Always remember, you don't disable query, right? And do you want to enable RCM? No. Right now, you need to open the notepad and then wait for it. Right, so you will get something like you may have a port forward to your internal IP. So just copy this and paste it here. And 19132 is your port. Right, now we have done the port part. Uh, 191, oh sorry, 119. 19132 Now we have to go so I'm gonna show you if you want to install some plugins go here Yeah, now it's gonna ask for the uh, firewall allow access for that and done now You will you will see plugins where you have can download the plugins from here extract the rare and put it there now we have to go to the CMD part go to the CMD and then IP config And then now you will see default gateway. So we're going to do right click mark, copy this, and paste it over here. Now it will ask you for the router password. So, which is usually admin, and the password is also admin if you haven't changed it. And so the manufacturer usually do it as a default. So, yeah. And if you have changed, so you might you ask your parents. Now you have to go to the forwarding part, but you have to go to add new service port, which is about 19132. Copy this, paste it over here. Right now, IP address. <clears throat> and now, oh, hold on. Yeah. Now IP address all status status enabled and just leave this one. Save. Alright. 
Now we're gonna head to the phone. Alright, we are on the phone. Now we're gonna add the default IP address, which was. If you remember the IP address, 192.168 and 1.1. You have to write the IP address which we copied in the notepad and the port and then name it whatever you want. There you go. The server has already been added because I added it already. And then, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.